Hello everybody, Stinger X here, and today we're going to be fixing the Hammond Collection for Lost Raptor Feet. Now there is a way to upgrade these, there's an upgrade kit available, I'll put it up right here if I can find it, if I can't then it won't be here, but if I do find it I'll put it up here. Now you can get these, but the problem is with those, at first they're not painted, and second off, you do require a 3D printer to use these, so you can get the uh, machine print out everything, the thing and then put it in the 3D printer and print it out yourself, but that's a lot of work and they had to paint them and everything and that's a lot of a hassle. So we're just going to fix the feet, a simple, easy way to do that. And what we're going to be doing here is playing a little doctor and we're going to be taking these feet, we might even be clipping the nails here, but you see how long they are? We're going to be pretty much taking these and going, we're just going to go, we're just going to shrink them up. Just like these guys right here, look at them, look at those feet, and watch this, watch that. He can stand! Look at that! He can stand just fine. He's got a beautifully long tail. Oh, the Lost World dinosaurs were amazing. Look at the colors on this guy. I mean, he's got even the stripe going all the way down his tail underneath and on the top. That's so awesome. And here's another Lost World guy. He's got even a little bigger feet than this guy here, and yet he can stand just fine. He's in a little different position, but he can stand just fine with that. And the feet also don't look too wonky on this version either. And once again, the paint goes all the way down the tail. Why can't my tail do this? I mean, look at this. The, these stripes go right here and they stop. The paint on the belly goes to here and they stop. What? What is so difficult with painting the whole guy? We get these in the last world. Sometimes I just feel like getting the older dinosaurs from the older films, you know, just, just the ones from those, because they're so much better painted. I mean, look, even the claws and everything are painted. You can't get those from my toe hardly ever. But anyway, enough of my ranting, we're going to go ahead and fix this guy up. So, so what you're going to need for this is an exacto blade, careful, they're sharp, some super glue, and if you want to do a little bit more work with this, we're going to need one of these here, a toothpick. So um, there's two ways to do this. If you have an exacto, uh, a Dremel, a Dremel tool, which I do have one, um, you can Dremel a hole um, right through here. We'll cut it up and stuff, but I'll show you. So you can drill a hole and then take a toothpick, a small one, and then you can kind of use the exacto blade to thin it up. And then you can put that in there and then drill a hole into the socket here. And then you slip it in there and then put super glue on that and then plug it in there. And that ain't going to come off easy. The other way, if you don't have a, a Dremel tool, is you just cut it, move it back, and glue it on there. Easy, simple. And um, you don't need paint or anything for this stuff, but I do have some paint that I think is the same color as his belly, so I'll probably just continue that along the tail there and get this guy the right colors and everything. And if this turns out good, we'll probably do a video on fixing the T-Rexy feet as well. So with that out of the way, let's see what we're going to be doing first. So, you could pop these feet off, you could use a hair dryer, some hot water if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. Again, this is to make it as simple, as easy as it can possibly be. And um, why an exacto blade? Because, again, when we cut with the exacto blade, it's going to make a nice, clean cut. If I use my uh, um, model kit clippers, it's going to cut a big chunk of plastic right out there, and I don't want that. All I want is just a little bit of that plastic removed, so like there and there. So pretty much we're taking this bit of the claw and just putting it right there. So, let's do this and you can all scream and go, ah, as I cut my Velociraptor feet apart. So, here we go, and don't worry, this causes no harm to the raptor. He's out. There he is. He's asleep. I put him out. He's all good. He'll wake up and feel so much better with properly sized feet and the other raptors won't make fun of him. And then he can get along with the rest of them. So, here we go. So, first we're going to mark out where we're going to be cutting here. So, right there is where I'll cut the first mark right there and then next mark right there and so that's where I'm going to cut right along those lines and it's not that precise you just go like that and go oh just like that and there you go and then we take the next section and we're just gonna whack that off and there it goes and then we're just going to take this and we're just going to glue it like that so pretty much we're going to take that and then reattach it like so. And look at that! It fixes the foot pretty much pretty good automatically. Wow! pow So now we just cut off the other side here. The same way. So we just have to get the foot G all aligned here. And just make sure we know where we're cutting. So we'll just do a line. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. So we're just going to do a line there. And a line right there. Okay, we'll first cut the toes off. And if you want to take off the foot, it does make it a little bit easier. But I'm just going to Try to do it this way. I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm not going to do that extra step. So make sure it's straight down. I'm going to get that as straight as possible. There's one. And then we'll just slice that off. 
And there we go, give it that extra plastic. And there's the Raptor Claws, all ready to go. And this is the part where you can use the Dremel. So what I would do is Dremel a hole right here, right in the center, drill right down there. And then do the same thing with this and drill a hole right down there. And be careful, because you're holding on to very little. So it makes sure you got a good grip and then you're just gonna go beep, beep. And then you take um, a toothpick like this or a smaller one, and then you just kind of shave it, cut up you know, a piece of it, make sure it's nice and small, and then just plug it in there. And then when you slip these two bits on like that, you take a little super glue, put them on the uh, toothpick, and you would slip them right in there, and then slip that right in there as well to make sure that's nice and solid connection. But I'm not going to do that again, just because Dremel's downstairs. I'm feeling lazy today. We're just going to make this simple, and we'll just glue them on regularly. So... We've got those cut, and now we're going to glue them back on. And here we could cut the claw. Let me just see what that would look like. I'm just trying to see if I want to or not. I don't think I'll cut the claws. You know, I think they're fine. Um, if they look a little wonky once I attach them, I could cut them. We'll just find out. So now we take our super glue. And yeah, my cap's been glued on. So, so now we just take our super glue. And we just scoop a little bit of super. And we just go... And we'll do the next claw by itself in a second. So we just take that and there we go. And then what I like to do with this because there's some excess super glue is I'll just clean it up with this. I'll just clean that up. Make sure that's smooth. And there we go. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad, I think. And so now we do the next two. So we take our Super glue, and we just dab it like so. Take our raptor foot claw, and we just reattach it like that. And then we just move it over like where it should. Down the line. There we go. Trying to line it up there uh, like so. And you can see here that it is a little off. Because this big, there's a big chunk missing there, so I'll probably use the blade here and just kind of clean it up a bit. But as a whole, I think it looks fine. Looks fine. Looks fine. And there we go. And now, just looking at that foot, look at that. So we'll bring in my other raptors here. You can just see the difference automatically there with the feet. Look at that. Wow, that looks pretty darn good. So while this foot heals up, we'll move on to the next foot, and we'll just cut this up and do the same thing over here. So, let's do it! And there we go! The feet have been fixed. A little bit of an issue with that last toe. Now another thing you can use if you don't have super glue is a hot glue gun. Um, that can also work. And also that hot glue can be used to kind of fill in the gaps. Kind of, because there are some gappy issues like right around this foot here. There are some bits. A little bit of gap, kind of like on that one too. With a little bit of hot glue can seal that, you know, really easy. Just put a little bit in there and then you can smooth it out. Which, you know, I could do that. I could use some uh, putty and then paint it to make it match the foot a little bit. So there's a few different options there. Um, I kind of just did this on a whim here. I just thought, eh, maybe I can fix my raptor feet by just cutting them. I don't know. So I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Don't assume I never know what I'm doing. No. No idea. But, um, yeah. So that is pretty darn good, I think, with the feet. Um, so the kind of paint I'm going to try with the belly here, just to kind of add a little extra color to this guy, is just some uh, kind of this color. I'll wrap it out really quick. So these are the two colors that I have. And again, I may not do the paint. I don't know. I'm just going to see. Um, I could repaint it all. But you know, I don't think these colors really match the belly at all, really. So I thought they would, but then don't. So, um... I'm going to skip on painting it, because that's not what this video is about. It's about fixing the feet, right? I don't need to paint it. We're not doing that right now. What am I doing? I don't know. But, um, so that's an easy way to fix the feet up. So, um, let's see. What up do we do next? Well, um, the claws, you know, they could be snipped, but I think they're fine. I think the claws are fine. Look at those. It looks so much nicer. Let's bring in another raptor feet just for comparison now. Wow. 
Wow, that looks so much better. Woo! <laughs> so now I'm just trying to think here what I want to do for kind of filling in the gaps along these toes here that kind of still need them. Um, let me think. Hot glue gun, I think, would work the best. Just because it's going to really um, blend the color since it's see-through plastic, I think it'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to get the hot glue gun and just kind of fill in the gap there. And this one, this one is a... That one's perfect. Um, so is this one. This one's pretty darn good. Um, just these two here. The one, the inner claws, when you do cut them, if you do this, if you do cut them, there's a little bit um, thicker between the two. And you don't notice it, so you don't have to fix it or do anything with it. But um, if you have some mold clay and put it in there and then paint it, then it'll be fine. Um, I'm just going to use hot glue and see how that works out. So let's keep him out for night now. Let's put him... Shh, shh, he's not ready to wake up yet. So let's fix the feet up really quickly with some hot glue. And then we'll take a look at it. And call the good. All right, got my hot glue gun all hit up and ready to go. Let's see how this works. Careful, these are hot if you're gonna use one. So here we go. So let's see what foot needs it first. This one needs it, so I'm just gonna go just like that. We don't need a whole lot in there, just just a little bit. So I'm just gonna let that go in there and let it heat up a bit. Then same over here, just a little. Yeah, just, just that, just the tiniest little bit. And once that gets in there, I'm just going to let it heat up a bit. And then I'm just going to roll it over, just to kind of smooth it out. And then we'll clean up um, the excess bit. And that should be all she wrote. So we'll just clean that up a bit. Hot glue gun. And yeah, there we go. All right. That looks good <laughs> enough. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit more here, but, um, yeah. I know it, I, yeah, it worked okay. I'm not saying it worked amazingly well. I think of just, um, using my exacto blade would have worked better. But, um, you know, it's a trial and error just to see how it works or not. But, um, yeah, so that's the feet all good and done here. I'm just kind of clean this up. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So let's get this over to the uh, more easy to see, the more my, you know, um, white background. And we'll take a look at this guy all finished up. Let's go! And so here we are. Let me just kind of get my light fixture better there. And so here we are. Here is the one that I modded with the feet here. And these are the ones I haven't done anything with. So you can see that this one right here, the one I modded, stands perfectly fine without the bigger feet. This is to prove to you, Mattel, that you don't need giant feet. You don't need them! All right, and look at that. Look at the difference between these feet here. Mattel's foot, my modded foot. Mattel's foot, my modded foot. We're gonna zoom in and just look at these. Look at that. It doesn't look half bad. Um, hot, the hot glue thing didn't really work out all that well. Um, don't recommend doing that. Um, but it doesn't look terrible. Um, it looks pretty darn fine. Um, we're gonna go in there and do a little zoom in. Um, but yeah, I mean. First glance, I mean, just setting this on the shelf and just looking at it, it's you're not going to notice much. So, as someone who likes displaying, these are display ones, you know, you pose them and kind of display them, it's not going to be very noticeable at all. And he can hold a pose. He can hold poses. We'll just zoom back. Look at that. He's holding his poses. He, look at that. He's leaning forwards at that angle, and he's still perfectly balanced. So this whole giant foot nonsense here, false. It's not true. They don't need them. So that is how you can fix your Hammond Collection Velociraptor feet. If you would like to see me do the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex, let me know down below. If you tell me to do it, I'll do it. Let me know. If, if at least ten people, ten people, or less, you know what, let's say five. If five of you say, do the T-Rex, do the Hammond Collection T-Rex, I will do it. I will do it, and I, maybe I will do it either way. But I don't know, I'm going to let you guys... Have some time to let me know if you want to see me do that. But again, that is how you can fix your Harry collection for Los Raptor. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good day and goodbye, everybody.